is Bill for Sparky Channel and today I'd like to introduce you to the new Ideal 2 RMS clamp meter and this is an amazing meter for the price here I have it on amps right now there's an A right there and that's amps and this is AC amps and this is a line splitter and I have a coffee maker right here coffee maker plugged into the line splitter so I'm going to turn on the coffee maker all right so now we have 77 amps but this is a times 10 line splitter so you got to divide this by 10. You hear the coffee maker going now so we got 7.71 amps right at the moment and see this is a 6,000 count display the older version which was the ideal 61747 only had a 4,000 count display I'll go ahead and turn off the coffee maker. That means that if you were measuring something of 6 volts, you would get on this meter 6.000 volts, as opposed to the old meter, which would get 6.00 volts. So this will give you a more accurate display. And this is non-contact voltage. So say we plug this in right here. See, that tells you that there is voltage right there and you need to be careful it's this point right here it says NCV that gives you the non-contact voltage now I'll turn the dial to amperage AC and DC and Hertz it comes up as amperage AC and then you press the select button once and Hertz will come up and there you go we've got 60 Hertz we're in the United States, so we're supposed to get 60 hertz. And we put that in there, and that in there. And look at that, we got 120.8 volts AC. And look how I'm reading it. I'm reading it on the bottom of the meter. So you can read it here, 121. You read it here, 121. It's the same reading, but look at that. That's pretty cool. And notice we got a nice flashlight here too. Then the next thing we have is Hertz percentage there we go 50% so that means we have a good sine wave half of it is above the midline and half of it is below the midline the next setting on the dial will bring us to continuity and this is the continuity symbol then if we hit select it will bring us to ohms and we'll be ready to measure ohms if we tap the select button again, we'll be ready to measure capacitance. Then with one more click of the select button, we'll be ready to measure diodes. This meter also measures temperature. If we just turn the dial one more time, we get temperature and you can put it in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Right now it's on Fahrenheit, there's a little F there. Uh, we have 14, 13, 14 degrees Fahrenheit and you press select and it gives you Celsius uh, minus 9 degrees Celsius and press select again and we have 13 degrees Fahrenheit so this is a really good feature for this meter especially in this price range a thermocouple is included plug the positive into the red terminal and the negative into the black terminal the tip of the thermocouple measures the temperature in this case I'm just measuring the ambient air temperature, which is 62 degrees at this moment. And in the first instance, I was measuring the temperature of a freezer. One more click of the dial will bring you to low Z. This is low impedance AC voltage, which reduces the possibility of false readings due to ghost voltages, and it senses AC voltage. The meter has a built-in probe tip holder, and it has a hanging strap clip although the strap is extra the meter has zero range and max minimum buttons and it runs on three AAA batteries to activate the backlit display long press the select button this meter is selling for about 133 dollars right now which i think is a remarkable price given all the features i am teaming up with ideal to give away one of these meters to one of my lucky viewers. All you have to do to enter the contest is make a comment in the comment section of this video. 
You do need a USA address where we could send the meter to. We will hold a random drawing from all those who have commented in the comments section on Saturday, May the 28th. I will write the winner through the comments section to tell the winner that they won. I'll include an email address that you can write to with your contact information. The winner will have 48 hours to respond with your contact information so that we can get you the meter. If there's no response within 48 hours, I'll have to pick another winner. And we are paying for shipping as well. So you'll get the meter with a nice case. So it's a great deal. It's a great meter. And I wish everyone the best of luck. Thanks, Thanks for watching! <laughs>